Joining us now is Fabrice Fie, the ambassador of Switzerland to Poland. Hello and welcome to TVP World. Hello, Jen Dobre. So now, Ambassador, how would you describe uh, Poland for foreigners and what is it like being here? Uh, I will start with the second part of the question. Uh, being here is great uh, for many reasons. First, uh, Poland is a great country of history and culture. Uh, is an important player politically and economically in Europe. So as Swiss ambassador, it is a fantastic uh, professional experience uh, to be posted here in Poland. Um, and, uh, and then uh, on, the, on the first part, uh, the economy, uh, Switzerland has been since the early 90s a uh, strong investor in Poland. We are still uh, among the te 10 top 12 investors in Poland. Uh, Poland is also a very strong trade partner of Switzerland. You know, we have more trade than with uh, Turkey, India or Korea. Uh, and we have a great network of companies here. Uh, not only distribution, but also R&D, uh, production and business centers, of course. And all these companies employ more than 90,000 people. Uh, so economically, it's also very interesting for me as an ambassador because then I can have all these connections uh, with the economy, um, help new investments in Poland and support the Swiss companies here uh, also to connect, to find partners, to expand. And can you tell us a bit more? There is the Swiss-Polish cooperation program. What is it and, and how does it work? Okay, the Swiss-Polish cooperation program uh, is a fantastic program. It has been designed uh, already uh, some time ago. Uh, Switzerland, as you know, is not a member of the European Union. So in the framework of our relations with the European Union, uh, it was uh, asked uh, to, to try to find um, a way uh, that Switzerland would uh, fund uh, some projects in the so-called new member states. Okay not no new anymore after 20 years, but still. And so that was the whole concept. And the first contribution was 1 billion Swiss francs. Uh, Poland at the time had nearly 50%, and it was a very success, successful uh, experience. You know, you still have traces all over Poland of uh, Swiss-funded projects through the contribution. Uh, and then we started discussing again with the European Union and had a second, second package, second contribution, and uh, this one uh, has been um, approved uh, recently and launched at the end of the year 2023. And this contribution is uh, more than 350 million Swiss francs. So Poland has maybe a little less than 35% of the share because Polish growth was such that basically it gets a little less than the others this time, but still is the main, main recipient. And uh, we have two uh, parts of the program. Uh, one is uh, small and medium-sized cities, little behind development, and the idea is for the cities to uh, define a master plan, to define the needs, and then uh, to make a proposal for funding. And out of these 140 cities uh, behind that have been selected on objective criteria, there will be a selection of around 15 to 20 that will receive the funding. And so that's the big part, the big program. Uh, it's very important because this bottom-up approach, you know, you're not just pouring funds, you know, with free use, but you sort of uh, try to make the difference by having a very structured master plan uh, so that uh, it can be, the progress can be seen on the ground. So this is the objective we have. And the second part is a smaller part, and it's a research and applied research, and it has been launched uh, in April. And here, the whole idea is uh, to connect uh, the universities, uh, the polytechs, and to be able you know, to fund cooperation between Switzerland and Poland at the academic level and uh, innovation, innovation level. And now what about, because also you mentioned the European Union and Poland, of course, recently we celebrated the 20 years of Poland mm -hmm. having entered the EU. Um, how do you see Poland? How has it changed since the time it entered the European Union? Yeah. Uh, I think Poland is, uh, is, uh, is an example uh, of uh, 
economic success. Um, what, what I can see and I observed, you know, 20 years uh, European Union, I observed the development of the economy, development of Poland, and uh, Poland is, uh, well, e economic success, you know, is sort of an economic miracle, if you want even, uh, because over 30 years, you know, it had a continuous growth and it has uh, used uh, the EU fundings in a very appropriate manner in investing in infrastructure, in investing in all sorts of things that you see today. The cities are modern, well-maintained, infrastructures are good, uh, they have kept a high level of innovation. And all these points make Poland also very attractive for investors. And um, when discussing with economists, uh, we are always struck to see that the success story of Poland is uh, not very well known. Um, I think some economists have calculated the growth over 30 years for the middle, middle large economies around the world. So no wonder number one is China, everybody could guess. But number two is Poland, you know, so Poland over 30 years, you know, has the strongest growth. Uh, among all the middle, middle, uh, middle large economies in the world, which is an impressive achievement. Mm -hmm. And we are speaking, of course, here about Swiss and Polish cooperation and Swiss investment here in Poland. How are Polish companies investing in Switzerland? Okay, so um, there, are, there are more and more uh, connections. Um, I would say the situation is still a little imbalanced, you know, so uh, Poland should probably uh, expand more. There was a first phase where lots of investment was here and the development was here, so the foreign companies and Swiss and Americans and Germans and etc. And now little by little we see also uh, Polish companies emerging. Uh, it can be in the tech sector for example, you know I've met here some, uh, uh, some um, uh, Polish companies specialized in the facial recognition that would like you know to open uh, an office in Switzerland to have this uh, joint cooperation, and there are li little, you know, little success stories, you know, uh, that uh, we begin uh, to see. But the large, the large industrial uh, uh, Polish companies do not have yet a strong footprint in Switzerland. But there are lots of uh, other other kind of links. Right, and I mean there's always room for progress. What about, so, if you were to tell somebody from abroad why they should invest in Poland, what would you tell them? Well, from the Swiss perspective, first, uh, Poland is an important EU member. So, EU. It's relevant because internal market rules. Uh, Poland is located, we always believe Switzerland is in the center of Europe, but if you really look at the map, Poland is maybe a little more central, and so the centrality. Uh, uh, then uh, the connectivity. Poland is very well connected, not only through Warsaw, but through the regional airport uh, to all Europe, but also through rail, you know, and road. So it means that uh, for, uh, for export also, uh, Poland is a very good place to produce. And uh, we shall, of course, not miss the talents pool of talents. I think the, uh, Poland has been great, you know, in just educating and providing talents uh, for all these uh, foreign companies, uh, investment, and today the quality uh, of the work uh, and also I would say the, the work ethics, you know, hard working, smart people, integrating well uh, in the company. Uh, is an asset, and this is why the Swiss companies employ so many Poles today uh, in, their, in their respective companies. So now, if someone is still not sure about if they would like to do business and invest in Poland, I believe this is the, one of the best recommendations that we can get. Fabrice Fie, the ambassador of Switzerland to Poland, thank you very much for speaking to us here on TVP World. Thank you very much. Bardzo dziękuję. Thank you.